News, back again with another episode of As Beer Swirls. I'm Dan. I'm Mike. Dan? I don't recognize this. This must be another root and branch, so uh, you tell me what we're drinking. Uh, Mike, actually today we have a uh, other half brewing company uh, mm. beer on the channel. Okay, and, um, first time. Great. Yeah, I'm excited yeah. to dive into this brewery. Uh, so, no, uh, we got this beer courtesy of the good doctor, Ridgeopolis, down in Delaware. Uh, go check out his channel, Ridge, Ridge and Bear, and Mikey Mole, and Big Ale, and it's, they got, yeah. they, they have, like, you've never watched wrestling, you're not into wrestling. Watch but, wrestling. But big groups, they call them stables, like factions. Well, like horses. Yeah, so it's like. They Don't watch like, Rajopolis and all his equine down there in <laughs> Delaware. They're like they're like the NWO of like beer. It's out of control. They will Anyways. hold your attention hostage. Uh, so this is from Other Half, and this is part of their tenth anniversary. So they had a That's ten weeks still going on of insanity, and this was I think number four for the tenth of so. collaboration. So Other Half and Friends. So Bas Basketland Crack. Verdant and Northern Monk. What a so, weird name for a beer. Why would they call it that? Well, that's just all the breweries. It's actually Imperial IPA well, collaboration. Number no four. breweries I've ever heard of. Well, that's because you're not from England. Oh, <laughs> all righty. This is so cringy. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this is a eight point five percent double IPA hopped with Nelson Galaxy Mosaic, Nelson Hopkeep, Mosaic Cryo, and Enigma. Um, so yeah, we wouldn't be other half if it wasn't for all the opportunities to collab with brewers and attend festivals all over Europe. Uh, we are connected with Baskeland, Crack, Verdant, and Northern Monk, all great IPA makers to collaborate on this 10th anniversary double IPA with a little European flair. We shall see. So it's got little logos there and stuff. Right, right. Pretty cool. Um, canned on 122, 2024. So... I'm excited to dive into this one with, with all these like. So here's the thing. Unbeknownst to me, breweries. I passed on so much beer from other half during their whole ten weeks of. There were so many, just crazy. Like how could times. you get them all? That's the thing. I had to pick and choose and like set a budget. So I was like, I'm saving it all for the actual tenth anniversary of stuff. You know what I mean? How'd that work out? Well, you saw how that worked out. Well, maybe not. <laughs> if you haven't, go check out our tenth anniversary other half shit show video. Yes. It's fantastic. Yeah. Good stuff. Uh, ooh, that looks... Uh, so this... I think it's got enough hops to mask the Enigma. I don't know. Maybe Enigma's changing. I feel like you're going to dig that Enigma out either way. Damn, that color looks like the label. It kind of does, <laughs> like, actually. It's really nice looking. Yeah. Super dull, chalky looking orange. Uh, almost gold, if you will. Uh, nice foamy head on it. It looks delicious. Looks English. Oh, whoa. That's potent. That is. That's that Nelson Hop Keef, son. God, that's that's like that. No, that's that, Porta Potty. That's like that Nelson Denk Denk. That's what the. Don't call it Hop Keef. Just call it Nelson Denk Denk. No, that's Porta Potty. <laughs> it does. It's got the. It does got a Porta Potty thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> it smells like every Porta Potty <laughs> I've ever gone in. Not in a bad way. The, well. That it does okay. <laughs> hey, hey, remember, okay. like, there's been a lot of times when I'm like, a lot of people don't like Nelson because sometimes Nelson gives off this like cheddary kind of like funky thing, okay. And now you're getting it, except now it's just transition from <sighs> cheddar to like porta potty. That is so off putting, <laughs> like, it's really what it's are you getting beyond it? Nothing. That's all I can smell. You know what? You know what it is? It's the Enigma coming. <laughs> is with that, that <laughs> it's with that dirty foot red berry? Oh my god. Enigma's hey, got dirty foot red berry and porta potty. I can't smell anything beyond it. Alright, you want Let's to dive in, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. I'm not just thanking Ridge for this. Just keep your mouth closed while you do it this time. <laughs> <laughs> Plastic. Oh, it does not taste like porta potty. Oh, it tastes pretty delicious. Oh man, that's a. Mmm. Okay. For eight point five, body's thin. Thin, right? Right. It's uh, it's uh. Ridge, what do you think? Think it's thin? Just not he's gonna answer. Um, yeah, it, but it's uh, it's a really nice thing. It's like a ocean spray juice kind of thin. It's crisp. 
crisp and airy crisp. and just like dancing around the palate. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of there's a lot of things that play here. Mm -hmm. There's like this breezy kind of grassiness kind of going through, but then you're kind of left with like um mm. like a there's like a lot of lemon, maybe a little kiwi. I was going to say like it's zesty. Like there is a zestiness to this beer. Um but it's a uh, man it is yes zesty it's like all the fruits are, they're just like sprinkling like powdered fruit zest it's on. almost zesty like a ginger beer oh that's an interesting pull i think you might be right like uh like the wegman's ginger beer mm -hmm. oh, wow this is different it is it is i like it cuz i'm all about the it's almost it literally has mm. It's like Moscow Mule kind of zesty. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. Like that, you got wow. that lime. You got the just ginger root just smacking in the face. But then it's you, you get that kind of white grape kind of thing coming. From and I think I think with the white grape, like that Nelson is also bringing out like a, a light, just bit of crackery kind of yeastiness way in the background. It, it almost it's giving me off a couple little like Belgian vibes to it, but. I enjoy this. Ah, this now is... let's go back to let's go back to the smell. I that's what I was just doing. I, I the last aroma. It's open. I took. I don't it's open. It's, I don't think it's, it's not so what much it was. porta potty. Mm -mm. <laughs> right off the bat, porta potty. It was a horrific aroma. It's still there. Can I tell you the last time I had a Boddington's? That's no. all I smelled was pool water. That's the. Like, That's the AB in bed. Like in it now. chlorine pool water. <laughs> I was like, God. I was like, this is not good anymore. <laughs> I, I was wow. just like, and this is what you taste. I was like, oh, it tastes like dirty fucking pool water. Oh, selling the good name of Boddington's. Mm. Tell you what, it's, this is what these Europeans are drinking. Shout out to Craig over at Kent's Beer Reviews. <sighs> oh uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, Mercy Beers. Oh, this is. You know what this is making me think? It's like, oh, I kind of wish this was in a bottle. <laughs> like, I feel, oh, like, be nice. I feel like you're drinking some like a, English that would cool. bottled beer. This is... What's the last New England IPA you had bottled? I, I know what it was. What? It was the... The Triple King Sue. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I would have... So, Something about, uh, and then before that, maybe Ghost in the Machine. Christ, it's been so long since we drank that. Yeah. Dude, I'll tell you what, there's something about seeing, though, that bright yellow in, like, the bottle. Yeah. It's like, right? It, it's You don't expect it. You're expecting something darker. But this is delicious. This really is delicious. See, I like the fact that maybe this one isn't thicker and, like, oversweet. Um, yeah. So this is, so. like, <sighs> lately a lot of other half beers have been just kind of sweet. And it's kind of like a one-trick one pony kind of aspect mm -hmm. sometimes. I haven't liked. And, um, no, this is nice. It, it's wow. balanced. It's crisp. It's clean. Um, I'm getting that real nice, like, the lemon, the lemon lime is coming through. But I'm also getting a real nice, non-distinct, like, vine berry yeah. kind of note to you it. You could chug this. I think you're right. <laughs> like, you you really could. Uh, nice little uh, spritzy carbonation. No sense of alcohol. Not a bit. So, yeah, I mean, again, this is, like, probably one that, like, I was seriously considering getting, like, this, and they had, like, a couple others. I was like, no, budget, mm -hmm. stick, stick to the budget. Mm -hmm. Dude, did you I learn a lesson? Listen, I'm willing to bet. Are you a changed man now? I am. Okay. Like, the FOMO is gone. It, that, that was it, right? Like, there's been released some, yeah. You know, you know how, like, you feel like for every uh, beer drinker, you, you, there's that event it completely erases all your FOMO, and then you, from then on, you're just like, eh, "If I get it, I get it." It, it was that the was that yeah. the moment. Oh yeah. Okay. Because here's the thing. I don't know what y'all are doing out there. What are y'all doing out there? But I'm willing to bet there are people right now that are in debt because of this other half ten weeks of anniversary. 
I'm willing to bet. It's over for them. Some guy. They want other beer, but they just got fridge full of some, other half. Some dude's going home after working 40 hours of overtime just to pay off all the other half they bought. Just like, well, I did. He's so tasty. tired. Just wants to crush a beer, but all he's got is a friggin' 10th anniversary triple in there. He's like, oh, I got three, four packs. I got to drink some of it. <laughs> I don't know, man. Because I... So listen, I, I'm not going to lie. I've... I've been that person that oh goodness. I've bought in like I've I've walked out uh other half. Yeah. Lots of money in beer. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean Before. I remember like when they first opened oh, up. When the they FLX first opened so up, I was buying cases. Like it was bro. insane. But a lot of it was the mail out too. And I was getting beer in return. So I didn't I wasn't like I was like Don't forget the text messages I would receive of Hey, you're splitting this with me. Oh god. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, yeah. Guess I'm buying um, some other half. But no, it's it was absolutely insane. Like, we were talking to uh, some employees at Other Half FLX, and, mm-hmm. like, we're like, so, 10 weeks, it was, like, 10th anniversary. <laughs> yeah. And he, he's just straight up, he's like, oh, my God, like, thank God it's over. <laughs> oh, that was Eric. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He was, like, he's all like, these numbers. <laughs> it just spent so many numbers and just, like, <laughs> I just want regular beer names. You know, that's why he's like, just name it whatever. I don't care as long as there's no number in it. I just... It was insane though. Every week they're just dropping crazy stuff. It was stuff. insane. It got so you insane. Keep up. I'm going to our local Wegmans and I'm seeing yeah. <laughs> triple anniversary, anniversary IPAs from other half there. Yeah. I'm just like, you never see that. Yeah. It, what a what a first world beer problem. Ah, oh, there's just so many anniversary other half beers on the grocery store shelf. I can't believe it. Like, yeah, see. Th- this is insanely enjoyable. I'd give this one. I'll give this one a four. Five. I'll give it a four point four nine. I'm gonna give Dan this one. This this is uh it's delicious. I'm so glad yeah. we got to drink this. Thank you, Ridge. Uh this was an absolute Truly. treat, man. Um all right. uh, on the anniversary beers, where's this one ranking for you? This is right this is up there. Oh, man. it's right. This up might there. be I mean It's right up there. Because I did mm-hmm. get to try some other anniversary beers on tap, even though I didn't really get to mm-hmm. um it's up there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, delicious. Yeah. Um all right, yeah. Uh, until next time, uh, down in the description, all the link trees will link uh, Ridge and all yep, that stuff. Absolutely. And, uh, excuse me. All right, gang. It's going to be hard to top this. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Cheers.